Howdy! I got my Influencer Fox Box. I love these things. Fox boxes are awesome to get. They're free and you can try new things and those are two of my favorite things to begin with. So here we go. This is the box that came. Big pink box. Very cute. And there are one, two, three, four, five, five things inside of them. This is the Rose Fox Box. Pretty cool. Pretty pretty. Pretty pretty pretty. And inside, like I said, five different things. All very cool things. I like this box. Probably my favorite box of all the ones I've ever gotten. And there was also select influencers were also able to test a Vita bath hydrating lotion. I didn't get that, but I've tried that before. And it reminds me of my grandmother. And I like it though, but whatever. Irrelevant. First thing in here. Hello, boo boo. Sorry, my dog's right. Hear me? Dr. Scholl's for her cozy cushion insoles. This is so awesome. They're like, like a type of insoles for boots and you could cut them so you could trim them to cut and it fits size 6 to 10 so if you're over a size 10 you hopefully they have bigger sizes but support comfort for all seasons helps keep feet dry and warm and works great in any boot or casual shoe so how I am seeing all the different shoes you could put these in whatever I don't know I think that's pretty cool and I have some boots my old Uggs could probably benefit from having those thrown in there. So that's pretty awesome. They retail for $12.49 and what can I say? It absorbs perspiration, offers support on hard surfaces, la-di-da, all the stuff you want from a soul. And like that, it's really like soft and squishy. Back here, squishy. Soft and squishy. Second thing in here, lint truffles. These are yummy. I didn't eat this one yet. There's one Truffle in this cute little bag. Ta-da! And a dollar off coupon. So, obviously, haven't eaten this one, but I've tried these before and they're good. They're just like creamy, little creamy chocolate inside of an outside chocolate. And oh, my dog is sitting watching me. You should say hi, Norm Norm. Okay. Third thing in here. Velveeta. These are delicious. My daughter wanted to eat these yesterday, but I told her she had to wait just because I wanted to show you guys what I got in my box, and I didn't want to show an empty wrapper. But I'm not even going to take it out of the bubble wrap. They bubble wrapped it to keep them from breaking, which worked. It worked. And these are so good. I love these, like, little breakfast bars. It's $3.69 for a pack of five biscuits. Four packs. Four packs of five biscuits. They These are the blueberry. I like the blueberry. They have an apple one. Yummy, yummy. And then they also have the blah, 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 brown sugar, I think it is. My daughter loves those. I buy a big box from Sam's. So I've already tried those. Eat those. Love them. Recommend them. Whatever. Okay. Those were the first three things in the box. The last two things, and these were the things I was most excited for, is I'll save the best for last, but... The fourth thing is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Retro Glam Mascara. I opened it, I tried it, I've used it today. So my first impression, I have nothing else but mascara on my eyes because I kind of just wanted and just wake up, but I'm like just waking up, I'm being a bum today. First impression is not, it's not goopy. It doesn't stick the lashes together, which I hate. I hate when my lashes get stuck, especially in this eye. These two big lashes over here always get stuck together with certain mascaras and it's very aggravating. Because I can't get them unstuck and it's just ridiculous looking. This did not do that. It wasn't too watery. It was a tiny bit watery, meaning like some my eyelashes are pretty long. So sometimes I'll hit a little bit of mascara up here. And if you have a mascara that dries super quick, it's so hard to get off, which is a real pain in the ass. But this does not do that. So I a little bit came here. It was a little, little, little bit watery, but not so bad. I just wiped it off right away. came off right away. This um, really made the eyes look full. Like the eyelash is full. Um, very like a thickening, fulling, long lash. Not too long, like some, I don't know, it's hard to explain. But yeah, a thick lash, nice. I, you know, I don't know, it's hard to see obviously with this horrible camera, but you know, it worked pretty good. And it says bold, wide eyed look, no clumps. It's true, I didn't clump. It was bold wide-eyed and it's totally like mod looking like mode like mod not mode mod like I don't know it's supposed to be like after yeah retro glam I saw somewhere 60 something about the 60s maybe it was on here 
Um, yes, the 60s are back in full swing, so it's got that whole retro type of aspect. To me, though, I see Target signs. I mean, Target has taken their, the Target, and I guess destroyed it for everything else. I think it's pretty cute. I mean, it's got that little retro, but I wish they would have changed something about it, because I just see Target for some reason, you know? Like, there should be a red dot there, because it's Target. But, it's kind of chunky. It's kind of a big, big mascara. Let me show you the wand. Um, what's another thing that's funny is there's, as you could, can you see, a lot comes on the tip. So you have to, I wipe it off here. So, I mean, this is going to get nasty, really. I have to wipe that off. That's ridiculous. And then when you go in there, this is, it's just hit, it's just hitting the part where it goes in. So if you see how much space is in this little spot, it's just hitting it now, and then now it's going in. I don't know. But do you see how much is at the end? I don't like that. But it's okay. I mean, there you go, and you could use it. And that's the brush. And it's very big. It's a big, fat brush. What's nice is that, it, you know, the little curve inside does make it easier to put on the outside of the lashes because it doesn't so much touch the side of the face sometimes like some brushes do that are bigger like this. So, I mean, I don't know. It's not bad. It's not a bad mascara at all for my first impressions. I've only used it for 10 minutes. But trying it on, first impressions, not bad at all. And then it only retails for $5.99, so that's pretty awesome price mascara, especially like Rimmel, you'll always get 40% off and stuff like that. A couple times a year, each store, buy it for, for that, try it out for that price. Last but not least, these. This is my, I did them last night. How cool, if you can see, I love it. I love the nails, I love the way my nails look. Kiss gradation. I keep thinking graduation when I see that, and I want to say graduation, I don't know why, that's my own silliness I guess but yeah gradation and it gradually it's ombre nails in a kit and this set they it says Walgreens on here but I looked online they sell it at CVS Target Walmart Kmart um, there's a bunch of places that they have these kits the kit retails for $6.99 which I think is a really good deal because you get three polishes that can all be used for your ombre look or a bunch of separate looks. And the polishes are a pretty decent size. It's like a little triangle bottle. And I love these colors. Like that middle color, the charcoal is so pretty on its own it would be so pretty. And then this glitter is really nice because it doesn't take much to put the glitter on. You don't have to work, you know, you don't have to really plot it on to get glitter. I mean, it's glittery. It comes little tiny swipe and you've got you know, chunky glitter, and I did this last night, I used a top coat and a base coat, not a great one, I just used my Nutri-Nail, this is mine, five and the Nutri-Nail Total Care 5-in-1, this is mine, I bought with my own money, but this is the one that I used, just as a base coat and a top coat, and then I just did the nails, like it's said to do, put two bases of two coat, two coats of this as your base, tip on the Put this on just like the third of your nail, and then this on half of the nail before this dries. And if you're going to do this, I did the whole nail, like my whole hand, and then I put this on. You have to do this before this dries. I know this is not the best review because I'm not really good at this right now, but you have to put this on before this one dries on your nail so it smudges to the ombre look. If I were to do this again, and I will be doing this again, I'm going to do one nail at a time instead of one hand at a time because it does dry pretty quick, this nail polish. It's got a huge brush. The brush is really big, and it's a little bit of a watery consistency. You can see. But it's not bad. It's totally workable. I did dishes today, did all kinds of stuff. The tips chipped a little bit doing dishes, but not too bad. I mean, I'm really rough with my hands. So those are so awesome. This is, I don't, I don't know the color. It doesn't say colors. It doesn't have names. I don't like that. It needs a name. Um, Kiss should definitely have a name, but they have a few other colors. Let me just show you. Look at that. They have a pink, a gold, the black, and the blue, and I love the gold, and I love the pink. I'm going to have to get them, but that's my influencer box box, and I'm so happy. I love it. Did you get a box, and did you get the Vita Bath? Because they say some people got the Vita Bath hydrating lotion. I didn't get that, but I used to use that. My grandmother used to get it. I used to buy the green one, and I used to love it, so... Didn't get that, though, but I like everything in this box. It was awesome, so bye.